Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of EU4. As the monarchy of Manchu, no longer a horde. Good things, good things, good things. Waiting for our ships to upgrade so we can send them back out and get the other ones in. An heir to the throne. That's actually a decent heir. I mean, it's terrible Diplo power, but overall, the number of pips is pretty solid. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. He's an average claim. It's, not, it's better than some of the weak ones we've had lately. Two more months, it looks like. One more month, come on. There we go. Everybody's repaired. You guys are going to go to there. You guys are going to go back out with your heavy frigates. Trade power is currently four. These guys were, what, 3.5? Early frigates were at 3, so yeah, it's not too bad at all. So you guys are going to go back out and protect trade in Beijing. And you are now going to upgrade. Uh, and then you also are actually going to get another heavy frigate, because we were one short. Invest in military, but we definitely need to get the uh, another tick in the admin first. Which we'll be able to do at 463, which is not too bad at all. Currently, we're actually playing with more modifiers in our favor than against us, I think. See, so against us it is... Come on, where's the numbers? 31 and 18, so 49. And then in our favor, we have 10, 20... 30, 47, 53. So we technically do have some in our favor. Quite a bit in our favor. I don't know if that the math exactly works out, but I'm not we're not losing much in the process. Colony self-sustaining, perfect. So we'll send out another one up here. Is there any other land up here that we can go for? I think that's all wasteland. That's all Russia. Um, I mean, we could send somebody over there to look, but I don't think it's going to matter. Anything over here we want to go after? Oh, that's technically somebody. That's fine. Hawaii is somebody. Portugal, okay. I think they've gotten all these little islands and bits and bobs and things. I don't know if there's anything else for us to take. That may be it. Our settlers are, are uh colonists are going to be sitting quiet, I think. Which is fine. Makes us some more money. Alright, speaking of money. We've got enough money now. Maybe is now the time that we start, you know, increasing some of our manpower and stuff. Force limit. I mean, do we just start throwing these down in lots of places? Uh, manpower. Um, I mean, I guess we can start throwing manpower out in some of the places that we just know we're going to need. You know, we get get a big boost from it. Anything over a thousand is probably be pretty solid manpower. But I think the uh, force limits really what's going to get us right now. I mean, is that five hundred thousand? It would take so long to get to a point where we can do anything about that. So we can get two each of these. So if we did 10 of these, that's increases it by 20. Still a drop in the bucket. Yeah, I don't know. What else modifies our force limit? Will it tell us here? From province, the base plus six and province. Oh, uh, I guess the uh, increasing the province's military side of things. They're... Um, Military power boost here. Which, which is just manpower. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think we have to. I think we got to start throwing these out wherever we can. Truthfully, we could send these into places that have a lot of slots. So, which I guess it's currently sorting by that. So that's fine. Let's do that. We'll start getting that out there.
Ah, we purchased some ability. Liberty Desire, not going to help us. The artillery damage is pretty nice. Um, ignore coring distance. Okay. Global naval engagement. Okay. Force marching. It's not too bad. Artillery bonus versus fort. I like that. I think we start with the improved artillery range, though. I think that one helps us with an actual hand to hand combat. Well, that's hand to hand, but like the combat with actual units. I mean, just because the fort takes a little bit longer, it's not the end of the world. It's I would rather have that other one as well, but having our artillery be better is, is, is I think, a big thing. Should be able to take the technology we can. Get us another idea group if we want it. Which we probably won't use, but it's fine. And then we can take these other two. So we get this grand shipyard. Nice. Uh, Archipelago frigate, which is the, the intercoastal one, which we're not going to be using. Trade efficiency, not bad. Trade range, it's fine. And make corrupt officials, really. And then covered way. Fortress... Military tactics and more combat width. So combat width is now 23. And it can go all the way to what? 25 it looks like. Good to know. Ming is what? 26. So we are at 24. So we still got some ground to catch up on there anyway. As we're waiting for these other buildings to build and get some force limit and things like that. Pretty much our sole focus right now is to <laughs> win a fight against the Ming. That would be victory for us in this game. Especially after all the trouble that we put ourselves through. CB. Portuguese Mexico. We're 85 right now. This will actually get us close to 100, I think, once these all finish. Oh, no. Uh, it's only 6, so it'll get us close to uh, 90. A little over 90. Goods produced. Okay. I'll take it. Advance of the merchant class. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Merchants, we are going to give you guys some land because you guys do well with these trade ports. What is it you do again? Oh, I'm not looking for state. There we go. Merchant Guild. Local trade power plus 50%. So that's pretty solid. Um, so what other ones can we give you? Merchant Guilds. We can't give you gear, apparently. Is that the one that... Yeah, that's the one that has this thing. Like, we, right, we can't give this to Kieran or give this to the state. Oh, so it's the capital. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, anywhere else that we have? Trade stuff. Uh, is this one ours? No, that's Malukas. So that's right. He beat us to that one. Nothing down here. So we just had that one. That's fine. I mean, we'll give him a little bit of land, and that's, that's okay. Increase some trade power. Warriors losing touch with their heritage. Less morale. No. No, no, no. Ah, oh, stability. God, are you kidding me? Go away. No, the morale is just terrible. I cannot have morale lost again. We shot us in the foot last time we did that. I hate this, but we'll lose the stability. It's stupid, but... <laughs> I mean, chances of us going to war in the next 10 years are probably fairly slim, but if it happened with that morale reduction, then... Ugh.
What I just did, the Ming take, will it tell us? Um, yes, right? No. I thought that was a place that we could see the ideas that they took. Guess not, because those are ours, so. See the military level, so they're 26 across the board. I really thought there was a way to see their ideas. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Offensive uh, quantity, so they did take quantity. So they took offensive and quantity. So the quantity would just match us one for one. The offensive, man, they're going to get more leader shock, less recruitment time, land leader fire, prestige, siege ability, land force limit modifier, and more discipline. Ugh. Yeah, offensive is pretty nice. Almost out of the hole with the prestige. Ah, discontent again, really? Can't win for losing with the legitimacy. Eighty-eight. Did I look at that wrong? Why? I figured it would be up higher than that. I've been doing my math wrong. We'll see when this next one finishes. It should be at ninety, right? Presumably. Conversion successful. Nice. Some of these are going to start getting really hard to do. Uh, mostly because they're not adopted culture. So, no, we're at 90. Okay. I don't know why it seemed like the math was not working out the way I thought it would. Smugglers. Uh, don't really want the trade efficiency dock as well as the tax modifier. So I guess we'll pay for the pay for them. I think that that would actually have ended up being more in the grand scheme of things. Eight ducats a month. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's such a good place to be. I guess we'll keep doing these with all the ones with three for now. Next one is development efficiency, all right, and administrative efficiency. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, we are getting some provincial unrest. Just the one we're converting, yes it is. So it's not terrible, that's 74 years, that's, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, I just realized I never sent these guys back out. Silly me. Speaking of, um, I need any more? Nope, you're good. <sighs> yeah, huge difference. Now we're up to 71. Wow, that was silly. I might just put these everywhere. <laughs> Get our force limit up to like 500, just like the main. That would be hilarious.
diplomatic rep. All right, charismatic negotiator. Go king. New technology. All right, there we go. Do that one. And these other two are going to be a little bit longer. That's fine. Just starting to suffer on the diplo rep, but that's okay. As long as the admin catches up, we'll get those other ones just fine. Three decker, nice. Naval morale, naval maintenance. Well, actually, naval maintenance goes up, which, eh, okay, it's a thing. About to finish all the threes, and I have to think about whether I will do the twos or not, which probably will. Literally putting these everywhere we possibly can. I do not want to lose the stability. I don't want to lose ducats. Conflicts and protests over taxes, corporations, trade, customs, policies are becoming quite frequent and could result in a sharp drop in our industrial production if we don't handle the situation carefully. Stability would take us four months, five months to get back. Uh, whereas the taxes would take us ten. As silly as it sounds, stability is technically better to lose. It's less time to get it back. Yeah, I think we just go ahead and start sticking these everywhere. And we have so many of those we can put out. I mean, at least get it above 100. About to be able to take the next military. Gives us better t uh, artillery. Artillery fire, artillery shock. Nice. Uh, the event rifle ownership. Yeah, let's try. I mean, I think it failed last time, but might as well. All right, well, they said no. Need some liberty desire. I don't really know how that helps us. Um, yeah, I really don't know how this helps us in any way. Wait, what just popped up? Oh, it's the main change of tribute with us. Every other day, we're, they're changing tribute with us. Oh, we lost that awesome general. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we could do the alliances. I don't know if any of those really are relevant, though, compared to the main... I mean, Aricon would be a good alliance. They say no. Um, if it made you happier, would you? Maybe. No, they're not going to get that much happier. Oh, they're allied to our rival. What about Daviet? Are you guys currently under the Ming? Uh, what does it look like when you're under the Ming? You like, are you guys? Truce, Allied, Conquest, Embargo. I guess nobody under the Ming anymore? Oh, there you go. So that's what the Tributary State looks like. Okay. So you are a Tributary under the Ming. That's fine. Ayuatha, whatever, is also... Oh, no, they have a Vassal. They are not a Tributary, but they have their own Vassal. Okay. Uh, John Purr. Lots of royal marriages. They also would not quite take an alliance, but pretty close too would. I mean, they're not too far off. What's their military at? 25. What is their strength at? John Purr. 144. You know what? Let's not like these guys. How far off are we from being able to make them happy? Not too far off. So, how about you keep coming back? We're going to send you over to John Poor just to make them happy enough to make an alliance. Why not? Actually, they would do a royal marriage. Mm, 
One more tick, and I actually think we can take them on this alliance right now. They are Sunni, but that should be fine. There we go. Offer an alliance. So, um, you go ahead and come back. Hopefully it doesn't decay in 38 days. This thing again. Stop it. Oh, it did go away. Okay, so we're going to have to send you right back. We'll have to get it a couple ticks higher. Which is fine. Oh, we can do the royal marriage. Let's do the royal marriage. This thing is just frustrating me. This lost heritage thing. So stupid. I, I just can't deal with it. I mean, last time we had it, it, it was just the worst thing ever. Right now, they'll accept the alliance here in about 22 days. Alright, there we go. So, John Perry is our ally. So, what other allies do you have that we could ally with? So, you do have Dai Viet. You're actually allied with Manchu. So, you would actually never... Oh, that's us. I'm thinking Ming. Um, Yarkand. Okay, which is currently being attacked by Ming. That's not going to help us. Really, none of these other ones are amazingly strong. So, we'll start with you, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. Get us up to 25. Kind of close that gap with the Ming a little bit. Another of those. Everything's good here. And everything's good here. Perfect. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Uh, we're working our way up to where we can hopefully face off against the Ming. So, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.